as long as you believe in your business model and you have the people around you to, to help you through it. I think the power of perseverance is, uh, is really important. I'm Peter Kalen. I am the CEO of Flexity. Flexity is a, a fintech retail private label company. Uh, we offer services to retailers that sell big ticket goods that allow their consumers to finance those purchases in 12, 24 equal payments uh, and make those purchases more affordable. I came from the corporate world. It started when I noticed that uh, our competitors stopped advertising 0% financing as much as they used to. Uh, all these US institutions that were in Canada offering retail private label credit cards to retailers left the market because they blew themselves up in the US and retreated back to, uh, back to the US. So I started to run some models, pull together a few people, asked them if they could uh, put an investor to presentation together, see if we could do a financial model and see what that looked like. Uh, and I did it off the corner of my desk for about a year or so. I left in June of 2013 and uh, started uh, a team in my kitchen. So about a year in, uh, we signed these two national retailers and they had collectively about 18 locations. Those 18 locations uh, did the same volume as the other thousand uh, in the first month that we signed them. As we were chugging along, uh, I was on my honeymoon, as a matter of fact, and got a panicked call from uh, our lender uh, that said that something was going down and uh, you know I should be around. I was on a cruise on my honeymoon though, so I lost connectivity for you know eight hours. When I got signal again, I downloaded my emails and there was a letter of termination with 30 days notice. You know, one of the, the unique natures of a credit card company or a consumer finance company is in the early days, you don't have a proper structure where you have a different facility for loans and a different facility for funding your, your staff. You're essentially funding everything for the most part out, out of equity. It is a lot of money to come up with in, a, in 30 days. So I uh, called everybody into the office. It was a Wednesday and, and I basically said, if you work in account acquisitions, uh, go home because we're not acquiring more customers. Uh, if you work in account management, you, there's enough money to pay you till Friday. And so that was uh, late October of 2015. Uh, and we turned the lights back on on March the 7th of 2016. That was two years ago. And, uh, you know, we, we're now the largest private label credit card issuer in the country. You know, bounced back pretty quickly from there. But that was uh, some pretty dark days being in the office by myself, being the only person, uh, you know, trying to keep the company afloat. And it really is all about the people. I mean, there were the people that came back to restart. Uh, I mean, I didn't know exactly how to, all the systems worked and these people did and they were willing to come back and I couldn't have done it without them.